Hey guys, Milton Cable with the bowandarrow.com again. Uh, just finishing up the uh, making a uh, primitive stick bow project. Uh, just went outside and shot it. Everything shot great. Uh, really, really smooth and fast. Uh, just like most all the pyramid bows do shoot. Um, <clears throat> still have some fine sanding to do. Just take some finer grit sandpaper. Uh, on the whole bow, get it nice and smooth, and put a good coat of. Uh, I like to use lacquer on this, on these bows. Uh, a good hand rub oil, but with oil now you're going to have to keep putting the finish on. Um, probably need several coats to start with, five or six, seven coats, and then a couple coats every year. A good coat before you go out hunting in the season. So. You're going to have to maintain it a little more, and if you use uh, if you use good quality lacquer and about three good heavy coats on, and and uh, sand in between the coats, and then uh, you, you're pretty well set. As long as you don't get it scratched up, if you scratch it up, you can just sand it a little bit, put some more finish on it, and good as new. So um, I'm uh, I'm happy that you stuck with the the whole project here, and uh, hope it wasn't too boring. Uh, just hope I got some good information to you, and uh, maybe you can uh, make you make yourself a really nice, nice shooting bow. Um, now I'll take this after I get the finish put on, put a nice leather grip on it, uh, <clears throat> put some leather on the side right here, maybe both ends even, so you can switch it around and shoot either end uh, for the arrow, so it doesn't scratch the. Uh, bow up every time and I'll put another piece of servant on a string so I'll have a knocking point and uh, that would be about it now this bow turned out to be right at 61 pounds at 28 inches and it doesn't stack it it just eases up from from 25 inches to 28 inches it just gains like a pound an inch I don't know some bows just do differently than others but this one's just wonderful to shoot so I uh, hope you enjoyed the project and uh, hope you learned something. And give me a call if, uh, if you need some more help or uh, look just uh, look at my website and buy some bows off, bow, off of me, some arrows, and, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll just get whatever you need to you. Now, <clears throat> I want to unstring this bow. There's something that happens <clears throat> that you, if you're beginners, you may not understand may not know you might think something's wrong but it's quite common um, you can call it a set or a string fall a string fall normally is thought of as being from the horizontal from the flat plane of the handle where the bow would be where the board would be straight how much it comes up off of the that plane now here, this one has an inch and a half of string follow. Now, it had, when I started, it had just a little bit curved toward the back. So, actually, it's probably taken an inch and, a, and three quarters of set. So, the set it takes is from wherever the wood starts. And the string follow, most people talk about string follow as being from the horizontal plane of if the if the wood were perfectly flat and straight on one plane, how much it it holds a, a bend after all the tilling and shooting and everything. So this is pretty doggone good. Let's check this other end. It's just a hair less. It's one and a quarter inches. So this bow is really a good bow. If you remember, we had really good thick uh, late late year uh, growth rings. So it's very dense. The, the wood's very dense and, and strong. So um, hope you enjoyed the project. Again, uh, give us a look over at my website, thebowandarrow.com. Thanks, guys.